What up, OGs? Welcome back to another episode of the OG Sessions Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Usher. Let's get it started. What up, OGs? Welcome back to another episode of the OG Sessions Podcast, episode 52, season two, going down right now at the OG HQ. Man, I'm super hyped about this episode. This is a huge one for me. We've had him on a previous episode. I believe it was like episode 12, maybe. Uh, could have been even earlier than that, but it was before we were in our season one studio. Um, but man, it's been a long time coming. I've been trying to get him back on the podcast for a minute and the time has finally come. Please welcome my brother, Donnie Blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes, problem. sir. Yes, sure. sir. Almost butchered the name right there in the in the early parts. Man, you would have thought you got excited. <laughs> hey, they wouldn't have never thought that we've been friends for almost ten years now, man. Huh? Yeah, you've been my homie for it's, a minute. It's been a minute. How are you feeling? I'm good, bro. What's what's Very been nice. new, man? In the life of Donnie Blow, life. That's what's new. You know what I'm saying? Just living life, trying to learn life. I know you've been working, working, yeah. put putting in the time, putting in the hours, taking care of my daughter. Got you know, to per usual. Before we get started, man, let's let's shout out Harlow real quick. Let's give her a little. Let's shout out to my. How, how's everything going with her, man? Obviously, she man, I don't know. She good. She four now. So what big four year old? Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. Has how's your life changed just mentally? Just like becoming a dad, man. Man, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Transition different. You know what I'm saying? Um, my daughter, she she teaches me like patience. You know what I'm saying? She teaches me how to show like more empathy like it's different like i can't explain it bro for sure I, it's I, like I, I it's can like a imagine. rule book you know what i'm saying it's just, yeah if you want to be a part of your, your your child's life or your kid's life you're gonna do it yeah 100 you know what i'm saying so i make that a priority yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah for and, sure. and in the end of the day bro it's like that's like the number one role as a man bro is just taking care of your family yeah, taking my care DNA, of your kid, like, it's just the only thing i got you know yeah exactly if anything else fail you feel me did, did you have a close relationship with your father growing up um Nah, really? some somewhat. I mean, my dad, my dad's there though for sure. Gotcha. But most, mostly my mom. Oh, okay, I'm gotcha. My mom, my mom was always. So you kind of learned the importance of having a, um, you know, strong strong connection with your parent. Yeah, for sure. At an early, early age. Yeah, through my mom. So it's like I had to um learn how to be something that I didn't have. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. So that's one thing that I promised myself and promised my daughter. Like I'm here. Yeah. You know what I'm one thing that I learned about you the other day and um. I was like so surprised whenever you told me this is before you uh, knew that music was going to be the thing you go all in and put all your eggs in one basket and you know yeah. um, you were on the road to becoming a nurse. Oh yeah, bro. I forgot that. Too. Yeah, <laughs> There's a lot going on, man. I, th- I think it's cool to like how to see just like I mean you know I, obviously I worked in healthcare for a number of years, bro, and yeah. I think it's just cool to see like you know everybody's kind of got their own like ideas in the beginning or what you what you think is a good route what for you, you or whatever, thought, yeah. and then you get end up getting into it or you just you know you just kind of shy away from it. But it's funny. I just, whenever you told me that, it's like, you never, you never know what people yeah, I are. I was in school for a little minute. I went to Sullivan University in Kentucky. Little really? Little Kentucky, yeah. yeah. Wow, I school, man. Yeah. I was there for like a year, year and a half. Yeah. Were you, you, know. you just want to get into that for just like the benefits of being, working in healthcare and stuff? No, not even that. It's just like more like my mom w- wanted that for me just to experience, even if I didn't want to finish, you know what I'm saying? Cause my mom knew I wanted to do music too. Gotcha. But she just said, at least experience it. Yeah. You never know. You, you know what I'm saying? You need a plan B. For just sure. Case, you know what I'm At what point did you get into music? Like, man, I got obviously. Music, 12, 13, my uncles. You know what I'm saying? My uncle, for sure. And that's he, he the first one put me in the studio. You remember recording your first song? Yeah. I, I had to do a hook for my uncle. No way. And this one, he, he wanted to name me Donnie Indiana. Donnie Indiana. Yeah. He wanted to my boy from like, the Midwest. Oh, man. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> And you know uh, what I mean? Funny. My uncle telling me something, so I'm thinking it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Go back to middle school. I'm yeah. Seventh grade. I'm like, yeah, I'm Donnie Indiana, boy. That's funny. I'm like, boy, no. That's not going to work. When did when you switch to Donnie Blow? <laughs> uh, I think uh, freshman year, high school. Why? Freshman year, high school. Why Donnie Blow? How'd that start? One of my close friends named me Donnie Blow. Oh, really? Yeah. Donnie Blow. Yeah. I like it. Because at first, I was like, this is when Twitter was jumping. You want to make a Twitter? You feel yeah. Me? And I, I was like, always into like, Little Boosie and the little Webbies and uh, you know, so I was like Donnie, Donnie Bad, 
Donny Bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she yeah. was like, nah, because, you know, Boosie Badass, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. She was like, nah, I don't think you should name it. You should change it to, like, Donny Brasco or Donny Blow or, I'm, wait, Donny Blow? That's hard. Yeah. And then I just made it my own little acronym. I like it. You feel me? What, what's the acronym? Broadcasting Locally Overachieving Wisely. Wow. Yeah, so it's Donny Broadcasting. How have I never heard this yeah. before? That is fire, bro. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's a lot. And that's why I just I do like my wordplay. And you, and that's that's a staple piece for you, bro. You're no, big on the sure. wordplay. Like, obviously, with Hope It Matters, him. The new project. You, know? you feel me? Yeah, tell me about, the, let's let's dive right into yeah. this, bro. So, new project. Yeah. What's it called? New EP. Um, new album. It's called uh, Lost My Way, LMW. LMW. Yeah. So... I'm sure there's some word player this somehow. Not for sure. Um, it's my uh, my uh, my ex initials. Oh, okay, yeah. got you. Yeah, type shit. I like it, and it's it's kind of cool to be like, um, to always kind of have like a hidden meaning behind shit. Not you for know, sure. like, and I feel like with a lot of your music, even with the songs you write, there's kind of a hidden meaning in there with it's it. Heavy. You know, there's like there's times where. Um, you'll be listening to a song and you'll say you'll make a statement in the song and it could mean like three or four things like oh, like sure. just the way you say it it's like a very you, you just you're really creative creative in that way yeah. and um you've always been one of those artists that's like very like highly focused on wordplay and just like really perfecting the craft in yeah, the I lyrical think it's sense important. i think it's, it's important i think it's fun to me yeah you know what i'm saying because just have some type of content or have some type of substance how do you come up with stuff like that is it more so like you're just while it's it's spiritual bro it just hit me at certain times you know what i'm saying like i can be just like trying to focus on a certain direction but it's like with music it's not forced with me bro because yeah i'm gonna give you everything of me like and that's like i think that's the most important thing for me is music a way for you to kind of like vent and just kind of you know or not vent i guess but um kind of just a way for you to like express yourself, no, I guess, sure. and just kind of like uh, it's like a way for I don't even know what the word is. It's like um, yeah. I'm tripping, but you know, it's like one of those. Wor- it's when you know, it's kind of like your way to just like wind down and just kind of like uh, you know, yeah. do your thing. Like music helped me to like explain certain shit I can't explain. Yeah, you know, I can't even like you know how you have a feeling about something and somebody asks you about something, and you try to express it or give your your perception of it, and it yeah. don't sound right to them. Yeah. Music expresses that explanation for everybody. For me, yeah, I know how to I know how to talk in third person. I know how to talk in first person and make you feel exactly how I feel. Mm-hmm. That's I like I mean. that, and yeah. I, and I you're one of those people where you're so creative, and you know we spent time together where you know no, you sure. are making music and shit, and you're showing me. I mean, I remember one time we were chilling, and um, you had like three or four songs that were yeah. already completed and done that you showed me, and this is like this this is. There was no project really like yeah, in no, the yeah, in yeah. the you know the view, and we're sitting there. We're like, I'm like, what are you going to do with these? Like, what is this? Is this just like going to be a file on your phone and like nobody's ever yeah. going to fucking hear you know, it? You the reason why I put out uh, what I said? Yeah, dude. When I showed you that, you was like, boy, you need to. And then that song, I, I swear to and God, that one took off. I'm gonna tell you right fucking now. <laughs> I am without a doubt. I've got to be like a quarter of those plays. For I, I mean, that song when you first put it out was the only thing I listened to for yeah. like six months. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. And the video took it up to another level too. Oh yeah, the video oh, yeah. was the video was fire for that. And check that out, y'all. Who's yeah. do you have a main videographer for a lot of your stuff, or um, do you kind of? I don't. As of now, I don't. Um, but I've been uh, working with. Uh, a new photographer, a new videographer, and I'm still, you know what I'm saying, still in contact with the old people I deal with, like JX Productions. Oh, nice. Ross Shacha. Um, she's amazing, too, but she doesn't do music videos as of now anymore. She's just focusing on, like, more content mo- movies and stuff like that, commercials. Oh, really? And, okay. Yeah, so her brand has become bigger, too. So Nice. So I, I see that aspect, too. But if I ever need something, I know that she'll, you know what I'm saying, follow up with me. Facts. And, and do that for me if, if need be, so. Yeah, and JX, um, Jordan, he's amazing too. He don't want to shout what I said. So he did a lot. He did a uh, control money. Uh, yeah, he's good. I, I've seen a lot of his work. No, no, no. Control money. Rod did control money. JX did the what I what I said. That yeah, video. that's that's there a good go. one too. And he's, I've seen a lot of his work, man. He does a great job. Thank shout you, out man. JX, shout man. He's, shout out to bro. He's he's a good guy. Shout, shout out to Rod too for sure. Yeah, and um, you know, you also have a lot of close close connections with uh, Guapo. Obviously, no, see Guapo. Sure. Yeah, that's like. What do you? Are you guys I'm cousins sorry. or are you guys like yeah. related with blood? Yeah, that's, or is it? that's more like my um, like my brother. Okay, but that's yeah. my cousin for sure. Yeah, so okay, cousin. It's like a, a spin, a spin, spit it like image of me. Like, 
You yeah. feel me? Like a protege of me. Like it's even with the, like the music, like he's he's his growth. Yeah. Like in the music, it's been amazing. You feel me? So yeah, go out. Yeah, y'all check him out too. When nice. did OAF come into the picture? OAF came in the picture probably like, like like not like when did when did you kind of come up with OAF? Oh man, um, it was me and my dog, um, Justin, one of my close friends, my best friend. Yeah, Justin. Um, me and him came up with it. Was like more like a brotherhood thing. It used to, it used to be about eight of us, really? seven eight of us. Um, shout out to my boy Blue, Jay Hawk, um, Ace, man, man. It was it was a couple of it was, it was like. Just like a, you know what I'm saying, a group. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying, like a like homestead. It. You feel me? Like we used to pop out together, do certain things together, but it was always like a fraternity, some yeah. type of vibe. And know? now it's grown into just. And like, now it's it's bigger than what it. You know what I'm saying? It's an empire now. Yeah, yeah. literally. Like we growing. Yeah, it. shout out to all the boys out in Tallahassee. Shout out to OAF, like, man. Yeah. Shout out to all my homies. Y'all yeah, keep doing y'all thing. Represent for the game. You know, definitely spreading the name well, man. And um, the I always, podcast too. Can't forget the yeah, few podcasts. For sure, yeah. man. Shout out to them, bro. Shout they're, out to they're putting out good numbers. Yeah. And um it's all about consistency, man. You know, mm-hmm. just it, it everything takes time. You know, nowadays it's like you might have a one hit wonder. You might be one of those guys where it's like, you know, you have this viral clip or something no, that puts sure. you up over the top. But even if even if that is like you all that you ever become, like it still took a lot of time before that to get that no, one hit wonder sure. to do. And shout out to the one hit wonders. It take exactly. It take time to do that. Fa- that's what I'm saying. And so it's like you know you have to. It's all about consistency, bro. No, like sure. everyone, everyone starts at some point, you know. And 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 I think that they're at a point right now to where like they're just beginning. They're just scratching the surface with no, what they can sure. do, you know. So shout out to those boys, man. Shout out to Guap. Shout out to everybody out there that's repping uh, OAF out in Tallahassee. I know we got tons of Tallahassee listeners on here, man. So, um, yeah, shout out Tally. Shout out JD out there too, man. That's my brother. Shout out to JD. Um, yeah, sure. it's cool. It's cool kind of seeing too. a lot of people make the make the move out there. You know, yeah. a lot of people make the transition out of Tally. Like, you know, whether you're going there for, um, you know, college or whatever. Yeah, it's it is. a lot of money like, out there too, for sure. A lot of a lot money of to money. be made, especially a lot of party money, man. Like <laughs> with what OAF and them are doing, bro. They be throwing those events, and it's like you bring out, you know, a couple, Wick, you couple hundred me, people, bro. Papa, that shit's going to go crazy. The raw waves, yeah. They do that. We so went to, like, um, what was the party that we went out there for? It was, um, um, I think some, was, somebody's birthday bash. It was crazy, though. Yeah, somebody's birthday bash. That shit went dumb, bro. Yeah, it was dumb, man. Like, that, was, sure. that was one of the craziest <laughs> nights I've had in town. That was a movie, though. Yeah, it was a movie though for sure. That's I mean that's kind of what you want from OAF uh, too. You sure. want it to be that that party that scene. You want people to that energy fucking fall in love with it. And yeah. so that whenever you put out stuff and or anybody part of OAF puts out stuff, it's like we got that movement. We got the people. So mm-hmm. we got no problem there. No, shout out to them though, for sure. Um, you know you do already have a single from the album that's out. Yeah, I dropped uh, a single. Um, rebound in a month. Rebound. For sure. So tell me about this, man. Like this is I, I I fuck with this song hard. Like you know, as soon as I think you actually sent it to me before you put it out. And yeah, just, just so uh, you give me a little. Yeah, because you me, always give me your honest opinion. Yeah, about I'm, I, I've I've got a real picky taste for with sure. music. Like <laughs> sure. because I kind of listen to a little bit of everything. So yeah. that means I'm not like super. I don't listen to you know. If if I was a fan of like just rap or just country or something like that, then I would have an ear for tons of those guys. But since I'm so picky and I'd kind of listen to a lot of stuff, like. I, you know, when it comes to hip hop, you know, it's got to be a certain, there's a very, very few flows that really no, roll sure. with me with hip hop. And this was one that, um, I was like, drop immediately. Like, yeah. like it was just, it you, was one of the ones, the one of the ones. Say. And, um, I want to play a little sample here. If you're cool with that, um, just run a little sample and just let the people hear. Cause yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, I know the people that follow you. Obviously all of them are going to know. It's a two minute song. They yeah. Have it. So they're, they're all going to already you know, they would have heard it, but, um, yeah, all my listeners, man, I'm just trying to put you guys on some game because this man's got music and, and, you know, I, I listen to this shit on a fucking daily basis. So That'd you're learning a little bit of me about me whenever we, whenever we play some of this music, man. So I'm going to run that shit right now. Uh, let's turn the volume up a little bit on here and boom. Beat goes dumb. Shout out to Ransom. Oh, that's Ransom. Don't really make sense. She just wanna take pics. Hope 
she on my wish list. She so into fitness. She know I'ma take it down. Every time I did that, just that pull across your shoulder, then you blow it back. Baby really ain't into that, but she blow my money, shit annoying. I don't need to play around with feelings, only money. I just want my old money back, ain't no loving me. I ain't tying no feelings, this shit ain't cuffing me. Huh. That shit hurt. Little ain't no rebound. Huh. Cause baby caught me off the rebound. She my little rebound. Uh. I ain't looking for no only one. I ain't looking for no. I ain't show me one cause I showed you one. I can't be the only one. And she noticed. And I know that. Good for I don't her. Let that beat drop one more time, man, because this shit is so fire. The way you say my name, the shit I miss, I can't fuck with you. Nah, you probably so what piss. Nah, I'm rich and I ain't with you. Hey. How the fuck you ain't love it when this shit came with no reasons? I'm left off with emotions. My love came with no defense. She moved on when I didn't know. She yeah. scrapped all of my pieces. She confident, but I'm sure she think about me when she's sleeping. That don't change the fact I'm living in my own fear. I can't change the facts, no double backs. You know I'm still here. Blow, blow, blow. Yes, sir. Man, that's the one right there, bro. That's a bounce. God damn, man. Yeah. That's a good one. I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of that beat. Like for you, man, you you tend to kind of go towards those like you, you don't do a lot of drill shit, let's be honest. Like nah, you I don't, don't do none of that. You really don't do a lot of like that, like heavy thump. Like, it's not gonna last, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, drill is not gonna last, bro. It's not timeless. I make bobs, so. bro. Like I make music you can listen to three years from now, and it's, you will get the same. Thirty years kick. from now, you, I mean, yeah, you feel yeah. me? It's just like I, I, I go by vibes, bro. Facts. That's how I create. I don't force it. It's not forced. That's why it's quantity. You feel me? The quality over the quantity. Do you think? Um, do you think Harlow has any impact on that man? Like, I'm just like sure. this because, like, project? you kind of you oh, want man. you want her to. I mean, I think any parent. I mean, obviously, I'm not a parent except for my fucking dogs. But I feel like as a parent, you would want to make things that like your kids could then appreciate when they're old enough to do so. You know, no, um, for sure. I feel like that would play a huge role in just like making timeless music. Oh, for at sure. The end of the day, I put a lot of thought and process like when I'm creating. You feel me? Yeah. Um, I don't know. My, my, Does she hear any of your music? Do you ever show her just like shit when you're in the car oh, yeah, or whatever? But she don't be knowing the difference. My daughter yeah. love like you feel me. She's just a happy baby. Yeah, like, facts. She's just happy. <laughs> if I show I'm like this daddy, she's like this daddy. She get the dancing. Like, yeah, she don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a vibe though. Like, she, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. I mean, even when I like one thing about you is like you don't really. You a lot of the lyrics you say are very timeless lyrics too like in the sense that they're still going to be relevant in 10 years like you don't really say a lot of shit that's like you talk about a lot of feelings you talk about a lot of like emotion and a lot of like like how you're feeling in that moment and stuff and and it's not like you're talking about like you know doing a bunch of fucking crazy drugs or doing anything like you know partying super hard or doing anything that's like super fucked up and would in the end kind of make you I'm like I'm sure that a lot of that rap is dope. Like obviously I listen to some of that shit on a on a daily basis. I can basis, go there if I want to. Exactly, it's, and it's I'm sure me. you can. But it's, it's like, but me. in the end of the day, like when yeah. you're 50 years old, is that really good? What you want your fucking grandkids to be like bumping? And some people do. And I'm not like hating on it or anything. I just think that like what your approach is is something that like even if you did kind of calm down, like you know the partying lifestyle, the yeah. always going out, whatever it is, like you could still en- appreciate this music and really yeah. enjoy like what you're putting out. Yeah, I make music where anybody can you can you can play my. My music in the elevator. Oh no, dead ass, bro! My, I got I got records I don't even curse. My on. British like, grandma would fuck with your music. No, nah, for bro. sure, it's a vibe, bro. <laughs> like that, like it's just you. You take a lot of time into it, and um, I hope some of my listeners are listening to this in their car or on their headphones or something yeah. because the way that that song is mastered, bro, just like whoever yeah, they gotta hear. It. God, it sounds just like so professional and just a. I mean, it sounds just sounds like a really good song, man. You did a good job on that. I appreciate it. Um. Is it difficult for you to hold back on dropping an album whenever you, yeah, whenever you finish it? Yeah, for sure. It's very difficult. It's like because I make the music that's like so timeless that it's like it's not what people want to hear right now. You feel me? Yeah, I make the music that you gonna have to listen to it and get in your feelings about because it's gonna resonate with you. You gonna you gonna understand my perception of it and it's gonna make you. You know what I'm saying? Feel yeah. it if you haven't been through it. It's gonna make you feel that way. What sure. do you? What what do you look for when you're choosing like a date to drop an album? Do you try to make sure that there's no other big event going on that night, or do you try to make sure that like no other artist 
kind of in your same genre no, as you drop be, in? Uh, trying to, I, I really been like paying attention to like the analytics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Guap for that. Like, I've been really just paying attention to like what would be a purposeful date to drop my record that people pay attention. And I don't want to drop when Drake drop. Facts, obviously. You feel me? Yeah. I don't want to drop because at the same time, I know I got listeners that's going to listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I yeah, I don't think you'd have to like worry time. too much on like, yeah. yeah, I don't think, I don't think it'd be too much of a worry on like, um, for you, like another artist dropping, because, you know, I think if anything, if it's another local artist, they're going to have to worry about you dropping because you got such a big fan base and a lot of people that are yeah. fuck with you. Um, that fan base has been altered though, man. This is one thing that I want to talk about. Oh, you, man. you, you've yeah, been one of those man. guys where, you know, I've been following your Instagram since before we were friends and, and you've always um, you've always kind of shown out on there and had like a real loyal following, and I yeah. you had a, tons of followers. I mean, how yeah, many was, was it? It was, it was like damn near forty k. Yeah, like a shit ton of followers, bro. And it was going up on a, yeah, on a rise. It's crazy, bro. What happened? I, boy, I don't know. Somebody reported my page pictures and said I was pretending to be somebody I'm not, and I had to do like a little review, send my information, IDs, and and I guess since Facebook bought the app. They have certain like restrictions, like if the ID don't match the name and all this, it's like it's weird. But whatever, bro. Fuck it. What do you mean if the ID don't don't match the name? Like, because obviously it. your your real name isn't Donnie Blow, so yeah, it's, like, it's like obviously yeah. your ID is gonna have a different name on there and shit. I don't know, bro. In my opinion, I'm like that's fucking. It's annoying. cool, but it was it was it was it was um, pending for a restart. Like it's time. Like, I, I needed really? that restart. You feel me? Because everything ain't everything don't last forever. Like what is yeah. forever? You feel me? Facts. Yeah. So it's like. It just gave me another push, another yeah. drive, something to do again because I did it before. And you've already ran up your followers pretty high. Yeah, too. I did like it before, <laughs> so let's do it yeah. again. You're already let's at a pretty good again. number. And you so just if y'all started. listening to this, follow DonnieBlow.oaf. Yeah, shout out my boy, man. I'll Donnie. follow you back. I got you. Yeah, I did. You know, share his page, follow him, like his pictures. Let's blow this shit back up, me man. Back up, man. You, it, it was tough seeing that happen, bro, because, yeah. I mean, oh, it's like people dream of hitting. 10k people dream of hitting 20k you know and it's not like that's like gonna ever change your life or anything but it's like just having good numbers like that just gives you a strong strong platform of people that like your music and gives you an outlet to kind of feed that too you know and um and when your shit got taken down bro i was like fuck bro i was so mad bro but it it is what it is and it's like it's harder now because everybody's so stuck in their ways and what they already have you feel me so it's like you're not gonna catch a lot of people following people no more because people are already stuck in their ways yeah exactly it's like these people already got the hundred Ks, the fifty Ks that they've been having for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So And the music doesn't go away. So yeah. it's like the people that follow you, I mean, yeah, they don't have your old Instagram anymore. And but it's you TikTok still... now too. So it's like people just they jumping on different apps. Well on TikTok, on the same time. people, your followers don't even see your videos anyway. So it's like shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you might as I mean following on TikTok is honestly not as important as a lot of people think about. But with the Instagram thing, I mean, um, you know, you're already building it up to a good thing and a good number and your your music never goes away so it's yeah. like it, these people are still going to hear your songs and be like damn i haven't seen a post on instagram let me go find his new shit you Boom. know and it's not that difficult yeah, like yeah. so um the one thing that i just thought was really weird and fuck instagram because i think this was just really weird bro was uh they deleted your account right yeah so your account is no longer on the internet your old no. one no, it's gone. on instagram no you can't go and then get your old at name name back. Yeah, I can't, that's I don't the stupidest know. shit I guess ever. They suspended I don't know. The, the the account, so they suspend. Oh, bro, I don't know how. Because I mean, do it's it. like that was such a fire at name. It was. I mean, obviously it was just Donnie Blow, but it was just like I mean, it's simple. It was right there. Yeah, it's weird, bro. Weird, but I mean, obviously Donnie Blow OEF has a good ring to it as well. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. it's it's a new style rebranding. So. You feel me? I ain't gonna count it as a loss. I'm gonna count it as a lesson. One hundred percent, bro. So I'm gonna be more prepared and what you know what I'm saying. On yeah, those type of things too. And now I understand it now. Yeah. So, do you do you what's your creative process like for when you're making music, man? Do you um, are you one of those guys that writes beforehand and then matches it with the beat, or do you kind of just hear the beat and then make it right then and there? Um, I'm I'm the type, I'm like I'm Bob. So like, if I'm feeling a certain type of way, I'll be like, man, I'm gonna call Ransom. I'm gonna hit my producer up because he's yeah. an engineer too. I hit him up quick. Boom, yo, hey, let's lock in tonight. What time? I'm like, hey, let's lock in. That's all I say. Yeah, I pull up. I probably that three, four hours, maybe six, just depending on how I feel. And it's like I got the the luxury of having so so many records and beats because Ran- Ransom don't make beats, bro. He makes records, bro. Got you. Like the 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 sounds you hear from, bro. It's like every beat sounds completely different. 
And like it could be Every, its own song on itself yeah. without you a wouldn't even know he produced it. Like it, he got a he got a record he had play and it sounded like a Timberland. Like Timberland made it, and then you would turn around and it, he got a beat that sounded like Pharrell made it. I'm like, bro, you show you made like I have to tell him to pull up the stems to to prove to me that you made this beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like I got the luxury of that. Like he just play beats and we just go from there. If I feel some type of way, I'm like, yo, just pull that up. Let's go. And we just lock in. Our chemistry is on point. I've been working with him for about you know, so over a year now. So we locked in all the way. That's the only person I record with. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Got to, man. I mean, once you once you kind of find that person that you just connect with and no, it's, you're it's rocking fine. with like on a good level, man, it's like no. this is this fam right here. No, that's my boy for sure. Gotta run it up. If I gotta wait, if he booked, I'm gonna wait. Cause I know when I get in there, I'm gonna just be more locked in. Yeah. Me. But I don't be right neither. I just, you know, you just go. Do you have a specific studio that you guys record at? Or is it like a uh, yeah. setup? Or Pacific uh, Studio is a nation business. Um, DJ Shab is his uh, studio. It's okay, on, nice. It's on the west side of Jacksonville. But oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's where I record out of. Um, also, um, Spirit, he also engineers. He does music, too. He has a group called The Love Culture. Spirit 13, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but yeah, bro, yeah. we've had we've had all the members of Love oh, yeah, Culture yeah, on that's the my pod. Dog, yeah. so we Shout out Love Culture, man! Shout if you're, Love if you're that's one of my favorite groups, bro. Like of all time, bro, you have it's no Love idea, culture, bro. I mean, they with every single person on in, in Love Culture, yeah. could be their own, own artist. Identity. Like, like they could crazy, and they blow up one hundred percent. Crazy, but bro. they're all together, yeah. and it's like this machine this of energy bro these they're bro, so talented you gotta understand how these people create like i've been in rooms with them bro like, i've been in studios with them just to be a part of just to see what's going on while i'm in the other room recording they come together as a collective bro and they listen to beats together bro. is that something you'd ever be interested in doing like nah, if you, for if you sure that's like, amazing bro yeah. and it's like and you you can you can feel the texture in the room like if they listening to this record you you'll catch one of them probably humming something for sure. You'll catch another person humming something else, right? Yeah. By the time the beat over, they running it back, and you they piecing the record together. Together, yeah. they'll probably pull out notebooks, and two people will be writing it down at the same time. It's like those type of you know what I'm saying. That's motive right there. Yeah, and that's actually. I respect them so much, bro. Like the creative process, I have seen it. I I'm know really... how hard they go. I know how like. Selective they are with certain records or certain things they say yeah. in the records. You feel me? 100%. So those are the type of you know what I'm saying artists I I love to be around, like just to see how technical they are with their art. You know what I'm saying? And they're very they're very locked in. Like they're one of those guys where, and I mean, and, and she obviously, but I mean, no, just sure. in general, like all of them, um, they're they're so committed. Samurai, shout out to Samurai, shout out oh, yeah, to Easy, yeah. shout out to everybody, Flash, man. man, Flash, all the man. Come on, fucking and and. Don't forget Poppy, man. It's oh, like, yeah, come on, man. And it's cool because I, I, I would love to get their DJ on here, too, because their DJ plays a big part in... Um, big part. DJ Larry Larry Love or something, mm-hmm. I think. But he's he yeah. plays a big yeah. part in their um, in their, their motion that they've got. I think got. they're going on tour soon, too. I've seen that. Yeah, I think they're going on tour, too. So yeah, I'd love, yeah. To, I, I'd love to go see them one day, man, and, and oh, live sure. on one of their for spots, sure. you know? Yeah, that's heavy. Do you do you perform a lot? Do you do a lot of live shows? I haven't did a, a show in probably a year. Probably a year. I say a year, but um, I was on the road a few years ago, heavy. Would you want to get back to that? No, nah, for sure, for sure. But everything I was just being in place, and it's like, yeah. Now I know how to move with structure. You know what I'm saying? Like the business aspect about it, like the marketing and stuff like that. It's like it got to be different now because like I'm getting of age, I'm, I'm getting older. Facts, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So everything got to be capitalized for sure. You feel me? So yeah, I definitely want to jump back into it if it's the right move. Yeah. You know do you uh? Do you? Have a uh, date already picked out and everything for the Lost My Way? Oh, yeah. It's dropping on um the 16th of March. Okay. I couldn't remember if we said that. Or not. I think yeah, we might I have. Yeah, I had to get but, it verified. Yeah. But 16th of March. Okay. Yeah, bet. So sure. we'll shoot for that. And um, damn, man. I'm excited for It's going to be crazy, man. We got yeah. I got another single coming out called Do More from the um from the album. Are you so. going to? So you're going to drop that before the album? Uh, I'm gonna drop. I'm going to drop after the album, but I'm going to drop the video um to Rebound before the album. Gotcha. You feel me? I'm going to drop the video before the album, and then once the album comes, we'll drop the new single. I think we... Did you did you send me the Do More snippet? I think you may have sent yeah, I me... Think I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did send it to you. Yeah, I sent it to you. I mean, you know, tell me... If you, if you don't want... Let me know if you don't want to do this or not, but what if we just give them, like, a little, like, taste of it, bro? Can I give them a little taste of the, See, the Do More? Run it. Sure? <laughs> run it. Give them a taste of the album, right, let's man. Let's give... Yeah, like, I it's, just want to... Hey, this I album it. is so crazy, like... <laughs> 
Y'all don't even know. Like I, I love it, man. It's so wanna, crazy. I want to give them just a little. It's so based on like some emotion, thug emotion. Like y'all, y'all gonna feel it for sure. Yeah, I'm about to run this. Ready? That's crazy. Yeah, run it. Just another, another good beat. Swag, you trying to get rich, huh? Oh, the swag boy. My love, but never tie me down. Think about the things that we should have did. Wishing on the things that I should have said. Wishing on the things that we could have been. We I never talk about the things you want to talk about. You will never tell me about the times you used to run around. I can show emotions all my time and keep on running out. You keep playing victim, all this bullshit keep on coming out. I want to do more. You want to see more. Spending all this money ain't going to help you with your feelings. I was painting pictures in my image. I was tripping. I've been popping perks at this snow to the film. Man, I give him too much. <laughs> That's heavy, though. I give him too much. That shit is fire. That's heavy, bro. That's a good one, and you can tell you're really you're speaking about some real shit in that. No, one. I like locked you, in. Yeah, I locked in all the way on this one for sure. It's a part of me. Like, I'm excited for it. I ain't got no features on it. You know what I'm saying? Really, no nah. features. I was, I was, gonna, I was gonna do a couple that. features, man. I ain't gonna lie. I got a couple records from a good uh, handful of people, but I'm a, I'm gonna hold it for Hope It Matters too. Oh, nice. So that I've been working on that project too. When um, we finish this album. Uh, last month so we, how many songs are going to be on this one uh probably eight nice okay solid eight i'm gonna give them you can run it straight through i ain't gonna the songs ain't gonna be too long they're okay, all gonna nice. connect you feel me it's gonna make sense lost my way lmw lmw yeah. i like it man i like it lost my way and this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those ones that i think is gonna really shake up the the game a little bit no, like obviously sure. hope hope it matters was a good one and i was expecting it to even do better than it did yeah like, me too it was it a lot, of, well, it was a bro. lot I mean, going on when i dropped that project too a lot of money situations contracts and stuff we were supposed to get done that we couldn't get done just due to like you know what i'm saying like i remember issues, you went through bro. some you went through some trial trials and tribulations with a couple things on there there was like a some videos and stuff videos to, money um, people ain't coming through and paying yeah. people and it's, it's a, it's i a think lot you're in a position now to where um to where you know everything should move out a lot smoother with this, with sure. this rollout and yeah. you know you've always got me here for um you know everything promotion wise and and, no, and you know design and all the yeah. you know stuff we got to get done because Man, I'm trying to run this one up. I think oh, no, it's, it's, it's it's time, bro. It's no one thing it's I love time. about doing this podcast is like you know when you succeed, everything that you've done and you've put your hand in have will succeed as well. You know, oh, for sure. and I've had you on the podcast twice, not because I want that to happen, but because you're my good friend. And when you succeed, it's like it's just it's such a fun thing to watch. Oh, you for know, sure. vice versa, bro. And and I really like that's I, I like surrounding myself with people that do have that motion and are always kind of in a upward climb yeah. and they're just kind of like focused on their destination like Siguapo would say and uh, it's just I, I like it, it motivates me Motivation, to keep going because yeah. it's one of those things where if you surround yourself with a bunch of people that are always talking it and never never really putting their foot on the gas and going mm-hmm. subconsciously you will and find yourself in that same position to where you don't put your foot on the gas and go but when you put yourself in the position to surround your or or when you surround yourself with people that have motion and are focused on you know the goal yeah um and you watch them do shit and you watch them go out and like really break down barriers like fuck man i need to be doing that exactly you know so i love i I love that no i appreciate you bro that idea yeah man and um you know, I'm just excited for the people to hear it. No, like, man, I'm excited too, man. For me, I can play this shit on my on my Bluetooth Gravi- anytime. Gravi- you know? Gravitate to it. You can listen to it. I, I call it night music. It's some type of vibe. It's a yeah. vibe, bro. The whole project. You feel Bluetooth me? it to the soundboard and every and run this song shit up, makes man. sense. You feel me? It ain't no. I'm not half assing. I'm not giving you just a piece of anything. You know? It's yeah. a piece of me. So, how was how was your uh, 2022? I don't think I got to ask you that when you first got here. Man, um, 2022. Man. Like, Obviously, t- 2021 is when you brought, dropped Hope It Matters, but um, 2022, long year, bro. No, nah, it was a long year. Right? I know, like, it was you, short but long for sure. It was heavy, bro. It was. Um, you didn't drop a lot of music, but I know for a fact that you were working, working. like a I was working motherfucker, bro. Sure. And that's so why I was kind of, bro. I was kind of surprised we didn't get anything in like November, December of last year, and then mm-hmm. um, you started you started hinting that we got something coming for us in March, yeah. and this was like early January or something, and yeah, I January, was like, yeah. okay, bad. I dropped so, energy. Remember, I dropped energy. That's right. Okay, obviously you dropped energy. That mm-hmm. was and wait, that was that was like twenty twenty October ish. October ish. Yep. That was like like yeah, that yeah, was that right was, before. Um, that's gonna be on the album too, so it's gonna it's gonna direct from okay, energy bad. to. 
the rebound to the it's going it's going to correlate with each yeah. other. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I like how I like the wordplay that you do, man. We we spoke about this before in the past, yeah. but like it's always it's always so interesting, like how you throw different plays on certain words and like with energy, obviously. Um, I hope it matters. Him, like it's just cool. Not a lot of rappers are able to do that. Yeah, it makes yeah. it fun for me, bro. It's like I say, it give it purpose. Um, I just try to be diverse with myself. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? Just I'm more than just a, a artist. You feel me? Do you are you one of those artists that like to? I mean, for me, bro, I, I there's anytime a fucking catchy commercial comes on, yeah. or or anytime you know <laughs> some random beat, like you know, me and my boys used to be on rap chat back in the day and shit, and it's like sometimes a catchy beat, bro. I just have to freestyle. Like I I I can't stop myself. I will just like legit just start. <laughs> bust out some random white boy shit to the damn, you know, commercial that's going on on the screen. Yeah. And, um, you know, are you like that? Are you one of those guys that kind of gets in that mode whenever you're in there? It's like you hear a new beat and you're like, shit, I don't got anything written down, but. Yeah, I, I, I vibe. I, I tap in. If I need to tap in, I tap in. If I feel it, I feel it. If I go, I go. If it's an opportunity, I'm going to take it. 100%. And sure. um, you got, obviously, you had um, Swag Boy do that last one. Oh yeah, Swag was on the Swag last Boy. album too. Swag, man, shout out to my boy Swag. I had him on the podcast. So Swag Boy, um, you know, a lot of my listeners know about Swag Boy. He was on the podcast for I think episode like twenty twenty two or something. Yeah. Um, Big and producer. he's got a real cool story. And he's he's one of those guys where he works real hard too and put out a, some high quality. And he's very consistent beat. too, man. He sends me like files, like Swag. Where the bass at, my dog, bro? <laughs> he, and he always show me love because he knows it. You feel me? Like he like. Anytime I send him a record back or something he sent me, he's like, damn. Yeah. I'm about to send you some more. Come on, keep going. Shit, like, bro. So it'll be like that, bro. He showed me love, bro. I got so much respect for bro. Yeah, and he's 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 a good he's one he's one of my favorite Solid producers, guy. obviously, man. And um you know, are you are you the type where you kinda get into like that mode where you're just like, fuck it, man, I'll like I, I would have I would just imagine that being an artist, an mm-hmm. actual like hip hop artist would make freestyling a lot easier. Yeah. I I think um the freestyling is I don't know when I freestyle I guess what we do now we punch in so facts write yeah. a couple bars punch in punch out yeah so, shit you want to yeah. try to punch in punch out right now yeah we can free some out man yes. what man, you got going what I got, got I got like you know just a couple random beats in my phone I'm sure I can just probably pop one on and just. See what we can on, get. I mean, shit. It's not like we're live on a podcast or anything, bro. Let's just have some fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got, man. Hell yeah, got, man. And and it's been one of those things where, like, you know, me and you used to do this shit all the time back. Oh in the yeah, day. smoking. We used to vibe. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this shit popping. I'm about to turn the, turn the volume on here a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got in the vault, man. Oh yeah. Oh oh, hold on. I I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Turn it up a little bit. For You'll me. know exactly which which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little Tyler on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like this one. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's nice though. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. It's turning up for me. Got you, man. Hey. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, I've been flexing on my ex since she switched ways This shit coming off the head, I just want some head uh, Why they fretting on that kid, man, I've been a wave uh, It's just something about my parents, I'm in all the merit uh, I've been trying to get some head since the sixth grade Always knew I was a player, not a simp, babe uh, I've been facing all my fears, shit, kinda scary uh, I've been bringing down that house just like Tyler Perry uh, And they know me for real, check my resume uh, This a brolly for real, check the marble face uh, I ain't paying for no cat, you know I'm done the day, uh, anything on my uh, see the blue face, uh, hey, I ain't sent, man, uh, uh, I, these bitches, all they illustrate, uh, 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 write down your number two, uh, 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 sorry, you know what I do, uh, 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 said I love Tyler, though, for sure, man. that little freestyle, uh, that hey, shit hard, bro. though, <laughs> was nice, that shit hard, though, I wasn't oh, expecting that much, that I mean, I, I've, 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 we fucked around, you know, Hopped on a couple beats back in the day, oh, man. Yeah. But damn, they don't even know you rap, though. Damn. They don't yeah. know my dog be spitting for sure. He Bro. just do it for fun. It's, he hot. Yeah, you know, man. It's like a little this, spice. It's I kind of do it for the same reason you do, where it's just like yeah. you just kind of get to let it all out and just kind of vent and just like have some fun, kill some energy. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's that nice. was fun, man. Yeah, I appreciate nice. that, man. Bro, that you're the, you're a fucking legend with this shit, and right. I feel like um, 
you know, I, I feel like just every song you make, yeah. you kind of grow a little bit more. Yeah, as an it's artist. growth, bro. That's why I, I, don't, I don't force my music because everybody just dropping. Everybody want like instant gratification. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, 100%. I, don't, I don't want the gratification now. I want you to look back. Once once it does happen, like it goes all the way, I want you to look back like, yo, he been doing this. Facts. Like the song that he dropped in 2019 is boys. Yeah, it's that too. Facts, That's bro. how I do it. I want to know, um, I got some, I got a couple of questions for you, man. Because I, I man. obviously, you know, we, we're we close friends and all, but yeah, there's some sure. shit about you I don't know. What don't you, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> what about, or or let's just, let's, let's word it like this. Describe to me the perfect day for Donnie Blow. I've asked I've asked this to a couple guests that have been on the pod, and sometimes like their answers like very much surprise me. I'm like, damn, this is your daily routine type shit. But perfect day for Donnie Blow. You can do anything. You got all the money in the world, bro. The no perfect limits. day in the, the world perfect day is taking Donnie my Blow. daughter to the jump place. Like I love taking her to. Like I love seeing her happy. The big trampoline places yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's a perfect day. Hell me. yeah, bro. My daughter, she be just she's so goofy. I got a goofy baby. <laughs> she goofy, bro. I love it, man. Yeah, that's I a love perfect it. day for me. I ain't gonna care. Then shit, you having a lot of them. No, I don't, I'm chilling. A lot of perfect days, man. Oh yeah, oh, that's okay, what I'm okay. saying. I like, my kids, like no, I'm chilling. No, oh no, I <laughs> one. I'm just, I'm no, I mean, I'm in perfect days, man. Because I mean, you know, it's it's like. A, all that fun and stuff, like, or not, not fun, but all the, like, the, that energy you have as a child, man, starts to fade away as you get older, man. Yeah, I feel like sure. having kids just kind of, like, sparks that energy back yeah. inside of you again and makes you, um, you know, a kid again yourself. No, for sure. It reminds you of self. Like, your self-worth. And, you know Facts. Self-discipline, too, because there's a lot that come with it. It's you got any new a, tats recently? New tats? I don't think I got no new tats. No, not yet. I just, not yeah, a everywhere. lot of room left, so. Yeah, I, I, I want to do my neck next. When did you get your first one? When I was 16. Really? Yeah, Which one was it? It was uh, probably this one. I got all this my first set. I like it. Like a little scripture and shit. But yeah. you can't really see it because I ain't got bigger and grew up, so it's like kind of spreading out a little bit. Good. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Yeah. It's there. Shit, it's there. You know how it go. I, I don't know. So. I got I got over like a hundred tattoos for sure. How are you liking that OGT? No, I love it. Comfortable fit. I thought it was made by Hanes. I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out when no, I was putting man. it on. I'm yeah, like, shit. Boy, this is nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you got the man. Seal bags. You got the stickers. Quality. Had to do it, bro. You doing your do thing, it. man. It's, it, it's, it grew. It's you, nice. When, whenever you're ready for some OAF merch, man. Whenever, man come on, man. Yeah, let's do some OAF in. OG merch. Have to. Half we can do that. I'm gonna lock in. We'll go out. We're gonna get. We're gonna get the pieces together. It's funny. We talked about this before we started. Uh, the last episode we did was before we were even in like the season one studio. So yeah. like our first episode. I, I wish we had some clips from that shit, bro. Like our first episode. Yeah, they won't believe it, bro. Like it came a long way. One of the most like like do it yourself podcast setups ever, bro. Like we could have never. I'm so glad I didn't have a camera recording that shit. We had like some little. Like leaning over coffee table or some shit in the middle of us. Then we oh, were yeah. sitting. We sitting. We had the couch right below the window. So yeah, like, little, I think uh, we had a couple clips, but the window made it so. Yeah, that the ring camera with the phone. The ring camera, yeah. <laughs> or no, the the, um, the I know what you're talking about the um, oh ring light, ring, the ring light. light. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this right before you were yeah. making the shorts. I remember. Yeah, yeah, we had the yeah, ring light. Sure. Oh my god, bro, that was. Like back that. back in the day, man, that was that was fun. You and I, I I just want to say, man, thank you for for helping me back in the day, bro. Nah, because thank you, bro. We were just talking about this on the phone the other night. Like, um, you know, all the guys like like you, C Guapo, No One Safe, like Jordan Mixon, Jesse Farrell, like some of these guys, bro, they really hopped on the pod before I really like we were we did this shit in my living room on the yeah, coffee. We table. believe in you, bro. We, we were we know what's going on on the coffee table with yeah. it, bro. It was just like, I mean, I just kind of had this vision. And the fact that I was able to have all my friends like come hop on the pod and like really just like support me, bro, it was like we would never be sitting in this this studio right now. I mean, we might be sitting in a studio, but it would never be to this extent Extent. with this equipment and just how fast it grew too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, that was that was like basically. Thanks to you, we got to give you your kudos too, bro. Oh man, appreciate that, bro. I mean, you've been putting your foot on the gas, bro. Shit, I appreciate that, man. You You made them believe us, bro. For I sure. mean, let's give it up for the fans too, Come shit, on. bro. I mean, <laughs> hands up for the fans. Like, yeah, I mean, dude, they yeah. are they are the fucking ones that really, really keep pushing this thing and really yeah. motivate me to keep making the episodes better and making the guests better. Great and, content too. Um, you know, it was only right that I brought you back for a second episode right before you dropped this project. I because appreciate it, bro. It was perfect time. When we recorded your first episode, it was like 
I'm pretty sure it was like a week before you dropped Hope It Matters. Mm-hmm. So it was it was there, bro. It's yeah. kind of cool. It's it, and it's a good way, obviously, for you to get the name out for the new for new the project. New project Help me market the new page. This is a lot going on. So yeah. It's, it's Once again, out. man, give yeah. that man a follow over at uh, DonnieBlow.oaf because I mean it's like here dude, we go. It's hard. It's hard to watch everything get taken away from you like that on social media so quick. But then it's like so cool and so just to see so, it, so rewarding yeah. to watch the same people just flutter right back in, and you're like, dude, that's the love. That's like, a, yeah, it's. I mean, when you're putting out quality shit and you're really giving it your all, yeah, anything's possible. Anything's possible. You know what's what's yeah. a piece of advice that you would give for a younger artist that's trying to get that same traction that you wanted back in the day? It's harder to start over. Facts. Yeah. So it's like if you already in it, just stay in it. So if you take a break, take a break. It's cool to take a break, be human. You know what I'm saying? But just know it's gonna be even harder to go back that but second it, time and to try to double back and try to you feel me? And it, you'll hear me a, a lot in this new project say no double backs. That's the that's my saying. You feel yeah, me? that's my new saying. No double backs. And I'm not like necessarily saying like don't go back to something or it's more of a feeling. You feel yeah. Me? No double backs can be a feeling that you occurred or went through occurred. You feel me? Yeah. You don't want to feel like that no more. I mean, I'm I'm kind of one of those yeah. people too, where it's like I believe in once a relationship or anything is ended, yeah, it's no like just backs. stick with it, yeah. and it's like because you, I'm one of those people that like I I don't I'm I'm all about like the original feeling of something. So like if I mm-hmm. feel for somebody a certain way, or I have like a friendship, and we're you know like me and me and one of my boys is like you know we're really popping off and having oh, a great sure. time together, like. Once they do me dirty or once like something happens where I just get a bad taste in my mouth, like I'm pretty much out because I I value that original feeling so okay. much and like that initial react or um uh, impression like so much and and I just in my eyes like you know I I, w- I always wanted to go back to that original feeling and if it can't do that then it's like kind of dead for me yeah, you know yeah, I, feel I feel like you're I feel, I feel like you're very similar to that but yeah um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, we all we all go through trials and tribulations, and it's always about how you bounce back. Yeah, or you get know. through it, not over it. Exactly, and in and, and it's everything is about how you react and about how you bounce back from from the toughest times. And um, yeah, man, I'm excited to hear the. Man. I'm excited to hear the the project, all the emotion, and just everything. Nice no, there, bro. Threw it's into there. It, bro. I'm vulnerable on this one. Yeah, you know, I don't care how people take it; they're gonna love it. Like, uh, they're gonna how. love it. I promise you, they're gonna love it. And it's more catered to the women too. You feel me? Really? It's more like, you know, it's more like. I feel like chicks can always get down to some of the shit. I mean, obviously, it's it, your your flows are very like. Yeah, I'm singing on the album a lot too. Really? Okay, bet. Hell yeah, I ain't even bet because I mean, dude. I mean, I've heard in the past. I mean, you've 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 sang on shit before, but not it's not like a steady. It's not very very steady. I mean, it's like a, kind of a. It's kind of like a melody rap type vibe, but this one is singing. Really? I'm like I'm singing. singing. Sentences on it. Oh shit! We about to we have let's, like let's a give, forty yeah, seconds. No, we can. Shit, it's crazy, seconds. bro. It's crazy, bro. This project is gonna be, you know. Yeah, that should have got no cap on this motherfucker. Honestly, bro. But that you know, people don't be knowing how you've that had some. Goes. You've had big features. Before. I had big features. You've worked yeah. with um Dobizi, Benz, Luciano. Yeah. Um, C Guapo, um, HD. Oh, let me see. I haven't got people. it yet, but I'm sure. It's probably loading since it's a file. Unless you got airdrop. I can airdrop it to me. I'm ready. Bet. You locked in. See? I'll try to take that. Yes, sir. Bet. Here we go. I'm going to just upload it to my files. That's a record, too. Let's go to downloads. I'm giving them a sneak peek of the project. It's going to be crazy. Everything is... Everything. All right, so are we gonna really we're gonna leak the name for this one? I can see the name, but I yeah, a little more, a little more, a little more. Shit, I got I a little win. more. No I got more. do more. They got meanings. I got rebound. I got um someone like you. I got energy. I like it. I got like certain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, guess, yeah. And I feel like they all kind of ex- you know obviously yeah, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. All right, let's let's give this thing a shot, man. Let's see what we see what we on, got man. here. Okay, another ransom. Like it. Making all these faces, baby, tell me where you gone. 
You know that I'm lying, baby girl, it ain't no question You know that you switching up, you switching up, you different You know that I'm solid, I ain't talk about them pictures All these feelings in a way, I just wanna demonstrate You can even lay off, I just wanna penetrate Gotta keep it real, you know this shit be coming ten ways They be acting like they homies, they don't know what this say Shining like a lit moment, uh, wrist frozen Shining like you never seen them diamonds on my wrist before She know that a nigga vibe so amazing She got wet up on her face so I just wanna spin time Let me demonstrate You know it's different when we looking on a different page How you love me but you force me not to be around Shit be hitting different when I'm out of town wow. Out of bounds I been drinking the low, smoking the best They been playing the Wow it's heavy, bro. Wow, man. I was not expecting that from you. Like, that yeah. is, like, I mean, first off, like, whoever's mastering your shit, bro, is. Shout out to Ransom. Shout out to Spirit. Definitely doing a good game. job. But, but I mean, overall, man, that's you. Like, that's, that's that like, it's a vibe. not a lot of people have the voice to sing like that over a song. Or at least, like, I mean, even, it's it's a little bit of a mixture of both. I mean, you're though. rapping, I ain't but. Gonna, I ain't going to clap myself off that much, but, like. It took time, bro. Year over the years, like just teaching myself and believing in myself. Yeah. Because like, when I first started singing, of course, people were like, no, nah, that was sound you, right. You have to be like, very yeah. vulnerable to do but that it, shit, bro. It got to go how I got to go. And I'm an artist. So sometimes it sounds like me featuring me. Oh, no. That's how, you feel like, what I'm saying? no, that's actually how, like, 90% of your music is. It's like me featuring me. Literally. And it'll be like, you'll switch up your flow halfway through the Quit. song. And you'll, at any point in the song, this is one thing I love about your music, is you never know when you're just going to. Punch the fucking gas and go. Go somewhere else. Like, yeah. and I mean, there's times where it'll be a real. Sometimes a song is made to be slow. Like, you'll yeah. make a song and it's kind of like, okay, this is it. This is, it's supposed to be a slow <laughs> kind of love song. But then, right when that beat, like that that 808 kicks in, bro, you are just like boom, 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 and it's like yeah. now you're spitting bars on a love song, you exactly. know. And it's like yeah. I love that shit about you. You never know. You're very versatile. You never know what you're gonna get. And um. Man, it's an honor to be your friend, bro. No, I'll honor tell you that, man. Too, Fuck. <laughs> let's keep this shit going and let's run it up, bro. Because Love, you know, it's just it's it's a it's here, bro. It's we a don't very, grow together, bro. I see you at the top, hundred percent, hundred percent, bro. I'll and it's, right and, and I like um, I like surrounding myself with people like yourself, where we're motivated, we're on the right path, and we see, you know, we're we're as C. Guapo would say, focused on our destination, destination, exactly. You know, and just enjoying the journey as it goes, man. So. Yeah. Um, once again, thank you for being on the OG Sessions no, podcast sure, man. and blessing it. my listeners with some good you know music, saying? bro. Blessing our listeners with some game. No, for sure. Um, but before we get out of here, Let's I want to wrap it up with one more one more good question, man. Let's I've go got a couple down. written down in here. Um, and, you know, these are just kind of like, I, I, before every episode, I kind of try to get together, you know, like what what I would think would be some, you know, some yeah. pretty cool things to ask some of the guests on my podcast. And sometimes I forget like halfway through the episode, we'll just be thinking like, I'm like, damn, I should have like, said, yeah, yeah I should have said this. <laughs> I should have said that, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, um, two things actually I've gotten here. What's he got? What is Donnie blows most toxic trait? Oh man. Cause I, I'm I shit being your friend. I know you got a couple. Yeah, I got a but couple. My most toxic. <laughs> not texting trait. back, but hey, there's a couple. <laughs> nah, nah. What, what, um, what, what would you say on a scale of one to ten? Like, what's your most toxic, toxic trait? Man, I smoke a lot. Really? Yeah, I smoke. I mean, a lot, you've bro. you've always kind of been like you've always kind of been a smoker over a drinker, but yeah, I don't really do the drinking, but smoking for sure. But I smoke a lot, and I think I need to slow down. So that's my really? that's my truth. I smoke a lot, bro. Uh, uh, hey, hey, there's a lot. I'm gonna I'm say this. We all we all kind of have our vices, yeah, our vices. <laughs> but at the same time, smoking is one of those things where there could be worse. Let me say that. No, for sure. Like you could, but be I don't smoke. Worse, like, I don't. Like, I know how to like conduct it. Like I, I never sm- smoke it from my daughter. Like I never do nothing. Like that day, like if I'm with my daughter, I don't even smoke. Word, okay. Type of, but that's really good. That's on my I mean, downtime in the studio when I'm moving around. When I got something to do, I'm gonna smoke. God, that's one of my like not pet pet peeves, but sometimes, bro, I'll see like like parents will be sitting there just like sm- even smoking a damn cigarette, oh, like, right a hot box of a bro. cigarette in the car with a I'm kid. I'm like, I'm like, bro, I can't. Nah, that's crazy. I can't watch that, that, man. Before. Yeah, I remember being a kid and like even if I'd <laughs> smell cigarette like out in public, I'd be smelling somebody smoking a cigarette, bro, and it hurt my yeah, fucking hurt. nose. I'd be like, oh, fucking no, nah, for sure. Yeah, and um, 
No. But man, shout out to you, bro. You're a great dad, and you do a lot for your daughter, bro. I and I love it, watching. Bro. I love watching her grow up, man. I love because my daughter. the more she grows up, the more she starts to look like yo oh, ass. God. <laughs> That's my twin for sure. For real, man. Yeah, so um, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, bro. Um, oh, actually, one more question. Yeah, one more. Do you have a fear of death? No. Do, does Donnie Blow have a fear of death? No, not at all. Really? It can be worse. Yeah. And we're all going to die at some we're gonna point. We're going to die, so. and then what will happen? So I was going to say, we're all going to die. So if you have a fear of death, then you're just going to spend your whole life in fear. Fear. Yeah. And fear, fear drains your energy. 100%. Fear gives you anxiety. 100%. I'd that's, agree that's, with that. That's the biggest thing. So it's like. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't scared to die. I know what's up. Yeah, she's I know who my God is. You know Hell what I'm yeah, man! And I know like if anything was to happen, like my daughter got a trust fund, ready to meet she him. She's gonna be all right. Yeah, <laughs> she got. It. You know that. You nah, know that's sure. right, man. So uh, shout out to you, man. Thank you for coming in once Bye, again, my bro. Boy. Um, before we get started, or I mean, before we get uh, wrapped up, Donnie Blow dot oaf on Instagram. Yeah, dot Twitter. O-A-F. Are you on Twitter? Twitter Donnie underscore Blow. Donnie underscore Blow. New project dropping March 16th. YouTube, too. Follow you, on YouTube. Donnie Blow 100. Okay, Donnie Blow 100? Yeah, 100. 100. 100. Okay, obviously. Zero, zero. Okay, bet. Donnie Blow 100 on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Um, bet, man. I'm excited for all this content. Yeah. I'm excited for the new project. I know all my listeners 16th, are excited. I know your fans March. are excited. Check it out. Uh, we might have to do a little listening party. Maybe a little, like... Let's do one. Let's do a small live one on... Um, yeah. On Instagram or something. Let's do something. Oh, for let's sure, bro. Up. Definitely go live and... Have a little, you know... Yeah, man. Obviously, um, you guys share this episode everywhere. Um, you know, run this run this podcast episode up, man. And and uh, if this thing gets, you know, a couple couple thousand likes, and we'll see. Maybe we can get Donnie Blow to leak us a couple more songs That's before cool, the project drops, man. Hey, we so, need y'all to turn this up. Let me um leak y'all a few couple more songs so I can get back on the podcast. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Next, shout out to my boy. <laughs> every every time you drop a big project, we'll be be sure to. Oh, no, for sure. Make sure my listeners and I'm know, gonna so. always give you the 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 real the quality. It ain't gonna hurt your ears. I didn't record it in the basement. Oh but no, this is it, the reason, that. and the reason that I like having you on the pod specifically is because you're 100 percent real. Yeah. I know I, I'm your friends outside of this, so Absolutely. I know when you're bullshitting and when you're actually telling the truth. And when you're on here, I I know you're genuine. And I, I know love that. I'm gonna give you, you know? 100 of me, bro. I like that. So um, I yeah, man. Thank once again, thanks for coming through. Appreciate uh, you. Guys. This is the OG Sessions podcast, man, and we are out. We Shout out. out to everybody for listening. Oh, yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you give us that five stars on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to your podcast, baby. We're there. Peace. <laughs>